Hey everyone, this is just a quick video to show you how to set your transaction sheet in a tiller powered Excel workbook up as an Excel table. So out of the box, the foundation template for Microsoft Excel powered by tiller, uh, the transaction sheet is already set up as an Excel table. So you don't have to worry about these steps. If you're using the foundation template it should already be set up that way. If you started in a blank workbook, for example, and just linked the Tiller Money Feeds add-in add to that workbook and filled it with your latest transactions and balances, then it's not gonna be set up as an Excel table at this time as of October 6, 2022. If you're using an older version of one of our Excel workbooks, Excel templates, then I definitely recommend that you upgrade and transition to the foundation template. Uh, get out of that old template, but if you want to use these steps to set up uh, the transaction sheet as an Excel table, uh, then these are the steps to do that. So essentially what you'll do is you'll just select the first cell in the transaction sheet, which is in column A here in row one, uh, and it's typically the date column and then just scroll all the way to the bottom of your transactions list. And then I like to just include a couple extra blank rows in the table boundary, just to ensure that new transactions are automatically added to the table. I'm gonna select the last, I'm gonna hold the shift key, and then I'm gonna select the last cell in the last column, which in the blank workbook workflow uh, is the transaction ID column. So I'll select this last empty cell here, and then I'm gonna to go to the insert ribbon. Go to the home ribbon, and then I'm gonna choose format as a table. And then it allows you to pick um, like some styling. The intent here really is just so that you have some visual cue, about the table boundary, it has some alternating colors for each row, things like that. So you can pick whatever style you like from the preset styles, or you can even um, create your own new uh, table style. So just for the sake of example, we'll just choose this one. It's going to um, you know, ask me to make sure that I have selected the, all the data that I want, and then yes, my table already has headers. So I'll just click okay. And then I've got it set up as an Excel table. And so just a couple things to note here, you can see that the bottom of the table boundary is identified here on a Mac. Um, if I need to expand the table, I can do that just by dragging this, um, this sort of little icon here in the far most right. That's how I can change the boundary. Um, I, get, I now get this table configuration option here in the in, as part of one of the ribbons available in Excel, which I previously didn't have that. That's kind of the, the way that you can validate if your, your transaction sheet is already set up as a table, if you see that there's the table option here um, at the top or not. If it's not there, then it's not set up as a table. I believe on a, a Windows machine, this would be called table design. And then you can also use the table ribbon to adjust the size of the table rather than having to find it and drag it around like you do in a Mac. So those are the couple simple steps of setting up your transaction sheet as a table. Hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching.